Hey guys, how's it going? Today I just wanted to do another, a little update on the Hori Fighter Commander since actually I got, got some views, I didn't think it'd get any traction and I kind of half asked it so I thought that I'd go into the lab, copy main man style and show you how it works, how good it is still to this day after abusing the living shit out of it. But first, before I get into the this bad boy, the Hori Commander, I'm going to be using a normal PS4 pad to show you the differences that I've had using a using the Hori pad compared to a normal PS4 one. And, and the PS4 one, as you can see, hopefully you guys can see, the layout, it's all individual buttons compared on next one, compared to see how this one's just one big button which makes it hide your finger and do two inputs at once like up kick which are on a Control, I'll show you now. If I want to do a hop kick, I'll have to do these two together. I'll just down. Then. <laughs> That's a square. These two together. That would be easy if I do it this way. But it, I have to press those two together. Those two buttons together. And then I get a hop kick. So I have to press those two buttons together and I have to click both of them down at the same time. Which can be a nuisance. It can be when you're in a panic, you'd have to quickly panic. Try press a button, you might get a forward fall, for example. That's not what you want. If someone's doing a low and you're panicking, snake edge, for example, and then you panic, but instead you do down fall, or forward fall, my bad, and then you get snake edge or something like that. But with this PS4 controller, I find it so so very difficult I'm using a normal pad to move. Like the movement, as you can see, it's very jolty. I'm not getting my down. I'm, I'm trying to do a backwards uh, wave dash, which is which is back, neutral, down, diagonal, and repeat. But I'm doing a half fast version of it here. But it's no way as good as I can do it. And then it's just really, really iffy. Just because you have to press both of the buttons down at the same time for the diagonal input. So I can't just slide as easy as I want to and do it as naturally as I want to. So it's very, very, very inconsistent using this. I know, I know Anakin uses, um, a PS4 pad. Little mod uses a PS4 pad. It may just be personal preference, but with me, it just feels very, very iffy. Very, very weird. Like, I should be able to do a normal basic combo. Uh, then I just got miss input. Let's see. I. It, feel, it feels weird just even moving because I have bound buttons to, to. I have bound buttons to all the triggers. So that way it's easier because. So sometimes I'll go to do a grab like that. And then I'll get a, a fall like that. Or if but then the need for that I, I buffer for my grabs. But I, I find it easier rather than oh I need to do a one plus two, then boom, like that. Because uh, it's again it's personal preference. A lot of people hate people that uh, use bound buttons. I know it's more relevant these days, people are now binding buttons because it's easier. If you if you casually don't want to be pressing three different buttons on the pad because now I could well, let's say uh, I'll swap the gin for a second. Um, print it. See? Oh, let's go, let's go controller. Right there. So, yeah, I got the wrong characters. Okay, but with Jin, for example, he has a torn, which is three buttons. So, if I hold down this button, oh, does that have my bound buttons? <laughs> okay, I'll do it the different way. I believe it's like this. So this is three buttons for Jin's taunt, even though it's not really used for anything, but let's say you're playing a character like Brian, where he has his taunt that actually is effective. You have to press three buttons on the controller, unless you want to press it like that, and you get misinputs. It's very, very not effective, I would say. It's very, it's not a very smooth way of playing. Now back to the PS4 controller, for example, because I just want to compare it to the Hori before I get into it. So let's let's see if I can do a basic combo, just a simple one. I'll even, just... even now, like, I I struggle to do a simple combo. I I'll, I'll do the simplest thing I can think of. Damn damage, and I I'll, I'll try to do some tech stuff, like some difficult inputs, like. This is a dark upcut, which is 
forward neutral down diagonal and it's a launcher but most combos require one two maybe even three of them and to do that because you want because a lot of his moves require forward down diagonal and that feels very iffy like his movement like his mix-up game is he can dash in your face if you can do it correctly but with the ps4 controller as i said you have to press two buttons for the one input and it just makes it feel really sloppy and you can't just slide your finger along as quickly and as easy as you want to because now because I'll, I'll try again to do uh, i can get two but then i'll take some <laughs> I, I can't even run that's how weird this controller feels to me now let me just take the ps4 control out dust it on the floor because it's trash <laughs> in my opinion it's, it's so good now now to the hori very fine commander let, let, let me try now just getting used to it <laughs> i will right, it is my own my own missed inputs but now i can as, as you can see it's much more smoother why my player two side isn't the best but if i like for, for example i'll swap the play player one side and then much smoother but play two side now i'm back dashing king's a weird character but arm king now i'm back dashing pretty smoothly now if i want i can try do a big boy combo i messed it up the triple duck up cut is actually decently difficult but the way my fingers just slide rather than having to readjust constantly so i'm just able to even like this i'm just able to one finger we're doing it like this but just able to one finger and just back dash easily and then do a very nice combo like that 73 damage and that was the free dark uppercuts I, I threw a jab in there and it's easier for me to do the jab version because you can do it free normal for a bit more damage but it's very very difficult like for example if i wanted to do something because this character is a grappler and he has very, very crazy inputs. Oh, I'll move the inputs a bit over. Well, actually. Not me. Alright. Forget that. Okay, Kings. Armor King has a heavy... A heavy swing, I believe it's called. Which is basically a half circle. Get it? I... Oh, wait, no. It's... It's, it's back, forward, half circle. Or full circle. I can just remember how to do it. Okay, it's the other way around. It's forward back, not back forward. So something like this is crucial because you want to be able to jab and then or kick and then go straight into the swing. The jab and then go straight into the swing. Create pressure. And then this is a mandatory a a must have tool. You must be using this tool. Like because he's He's down, um, he's down free, for example. It's plus, so that way you have time to buffer an input, so that way you press down, and as you, as you do that move, then you prep the heavy swing like this, or the big giant swing, whatever it's called, and then boom, pressure, and then as you saw, it's easily dashed, doing multiple inputs. On this side, it's a bit more difficult for me since I, I'm only just learning play two side compared to player one. But without a doubt, I can still get the inputs I want. And then. I can easily do stuff like that. And then let me quickly swap to um, Jim, uh, Jin, for example. Not Jin. <laughs> uh, repeat action. And then I'll just. I'll cheese it. And then. Okay. Now I'm, I'm Jin. Now I can easily wave dash, which. Wave dashing is very important for a Mishima style character. And that way, because I can just wave dash and out of wave dash, I can do I can do different moves from different mix-ups and then becomes a whole different mindset for Jin, for example. And let me just quickly. This is gonna get a warm-up. So with this, I, I find that you have to warm up and get used to it. Like when we, when you start using it, it usually takes me about a few minutes to warm up to the pad. And then Boom, two, two perfect electrics, which are frame perfect, I do believe. 
Just like that. Just like that. And then... I'll go downstairs with bigger space. If I can... But I don't want a character swap because I'm too lazy. That should have wall broke, but I actually know I misplaced that. Okay, now, now I'm just being bad. Excuse me for one second. So, let me just... Alright. Now, I'll, I'll do a... A big boy combo for Jin. Oh. What we want to do is get an electric here and then... Alright, I messed that up. But... Like these inputs, I wish you could sound. I'll actually, I'm gonna officially swap. I'll officially swap characters so that way you can see the inputs. But with this controller, it is so light, so smooth, no weight on it at all. Once I get, um, yeah, take myself in then. Let's see, well, who has a difficult combo? Uh, I'll just pick Kazuya. Two, two, two characters that have. Inputs, I'll say, and then I'll, I'll go back to actually. No, um, this is such a nice stage. I mean, I'm trying to think that's a nice wall. Uh, I'll just go back to the same stage and I'll break the wall. But this controller is so very light. Balance, I don't know if balance really cares, matters, cares, but it's so very light. It just sits in your hand, these buttons, you can just drum them like that. They're that easy to press. I'm barely impressing them. If you don't like shoulder buttons, or if you want it for Street Fighter, there's six six buttons, two buttons here. So that way if you're playing Street Fighter, you have your heavy kick, your heavy punch, and so on. Or you can bind them to whatever you want, preferably. And I'll just quickly start position. Balcony break. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna break the balcony and then I'm just gonna set to normal. Alright, now I'll, I'll try to do the combo I was trying to do earlier. Which, I don't believe it, I don't think it's easy. You have to do an electric as you're getting up, and then the frames are, well, not the frames, the window is limited. I messed it up. But well, this combo. Do this on the PS4 controller, I find impossible because just how quick you have to be. Uh, I'll, I'll do a different combo, one that. Oh, oh <laughs> a lot of these inputs are more and more difficult, but uh, I'll try something simple. Because te Tekken is a difficult game, a very difficult game, I would say. So even doing some of these things, it's hard to pull off like every everyday things. So let, let's just do a normal combo to the wall. Pretty simple. <laughs> Alright, and then I'll just do something simple. And this will get me to the wall, and it should be big damage, and it feels like nothing. 88 damage. Very, very simple with the pad. Very, very, very simple. And I could be more advanced. Go on electric. For example, that was perfect electric. And it is some more backdashing. And look, look at all these inputs and how easy I'm doing them. And if you notice, look how clean the inputs are. They are the exact same inputs. That's the quarter circle, neutral, quarter circle, neutral, quarter circle, neutral, quarter circle, neutral. Over and over again, how smooth it is compared to the PS4 commands that I had. It is so much easier for consistency. Like right now, diagonal. Diagonal and back, which is very simple. And that's just me pressing... A direction rather than pressing two buttons at once so that way if i wanted to do if i want to get up in someone's face and then down back very easy down up kick doing these buttons i'm it's very it feels so very natural extremely natural and this is just for tekken a, a, a fighting game that's considered very difficult and have it as a very steep learning edge like because if you're a beginner there's no way you're just going to be back dashing on your, on, on your opponents like that, crazy back dashing, or back dash cancelling, and look again, just, again, same inputs, completely clean, if I was to get the PS4 control, it would be, uh, as you saw earlier, it would be a complete mess. Right, with this controller, I've had it, well, let's kind of check my Steam hours, let's see. Alright, 
disconnected on Steam for a reason. So you might even connect the internet, let's see. I have no idea why it says disconnected. That's interesting. Now I'm going to try to do, using Kazuya, to try to do a big boy combo or something interesting, something different. Which, a lot of people go to this character big time, is how funny it is. Alright, now, now I'll do some Kazuya, which is a very fun character. He's also Mishima, which requires the... The forward neutral down diagonal inputs and you can do five of them but it's pretty difficult <laughs> you just have to practice for ages i can only do three if that will let me yeah i can only do three because you have to crouch really far in but what i can do is i can just show what a difficult combo would look like with kazia and that's with this controller I'm going to do the easy version of it. I, mi I missed the wall, but I I'll do it again. This time, oh, I'm still Jin. This time, I'll change up a bit. That way, I'll reach the wall, hopefully. It's going to reach the wall because I accidentally did down for two twice. Instead of the electrics. Messed it up again. Uh, and that, I would say, is a pretty difficult Kazuya combo. Just, just because all the input requires is three electrics on two electrics, and then his rage drive, which is the blue, which is basically out an electric itself. But to get that off after the second electric is a bit difficult. It requires, uh, I'm pretty sure, straight timing. But there's so many ways I can just use this controller. that has so many advantages over the peaceful like that that right there was completely brain dead to me and that will take so much effort using a different using a different control i reckon like i would not be able to do that with a peaceful controller at all and then like it just comes so natural like this controller is more more of a stick in my opinion just the way it slides in your hands just the way you're so brain dead with this controller like it takes it takes time and skill to get used to it you can't just pop off electric electric whatever you want or do anything any crazy inputs like that but once you're used to it your finger just slides on its own on its own and you don't even realize how much effort that is like go, going into a match and just doing this on someone why, why they just, if you go into a match and you're just doing this, 
while your opponent is just doing that, you can see the big difference. This is because if I try to just this is how you, you normal back dash. It's just it's very very slow. It takes time. By like Korean back dashing, just look how fast. Canceling, boom. Very very quick, very easy, and that's a very difficult command to do successfully non-stop like that. On player one side, I can also I've, I've been doing it decent, uh, doing it pretty decently as well. Player one side, I'm still getting used to that side, but it's still much faster still than the back dashing than the normal back dashing. But it's still much much faster and then knowing how to do this and having a controller that's very easy in your hands a lot of, a lot of people well, me mainly not a lot of people actually no probably, probably a lot of people you play the ps4 ps4 pads or xbox pads they know i'm gonna get the ps4 pad back off the floor back off the floor so i'm gonna do a nice thing get that off. but with this just the way the edges are it feels like it cuts you after a while, it feels painful, it feels like it's stabbing at you, and it feels not pleasant. With this controller, I know it still has the same amount off, off, off up in the air, but the way it just moves into the little gaps and just it, it'll, it slides with your finger. I don't know if you can see that, but the way it slides completely, it moves. As one hole moves as one hole not stationary buttons it moves as one hole so it will slide the entire d-pad with your movements making it easier to slide your finger back so on and that way you can just do crazy inputs like crazy like right now I'm doing a bunch of inputs as you can see I'm moving I'm sidestepping I'm cream back dashing while sidestepping both sides and while I'm moving up, I'm doing, I'm moving on both sides. Very, very easy. Not in a straight line. I'm, I'm adding pressure this way. Because in Tekken, if you just run straight, then you, you only have certain moves they can do. But if I, if I'm moving sideways and moving up like this, while they're trying to throw jabs, I'm just moving and then go on side walking now. Just so easy. So very easy to do. My arm is not sore at all. I'm just moving in, sidestepping. It's very very easy and simple and it took took time to learn but it was very very easy to learn once I actually had this controller before I had put a lot of time into an Xbox 360 pad and that was terrible it felt like the PS4 pad I felt like it's cutting my fingers after time it felt uncomfortable but with this I, I'm, I'm still going I'm still going I'm still moving like crazy like and the control is so light it's honestly it's like I'm not even doing anything it's like i'm just twiddling my thumb honestly that's what i'm doing i'm just twiddling my thumb doing this all with one finger just moving side to side i step cancelling back dashing like all these inputs very very easy and then and as soon as i want to start attacking easy and then attack from here straighten myself up it's just very very easy to get the movement going and when you're roasting an opponent depending like if you're, if you're new to the game and they're new to the game and you have the controller like this and you're just able to move uh, as long as long as you're willing to work with the controller move and do everything then it should be very easy to get, get a hold of this controller and, and start using it now, i do know there's a new uh controller coming out but i had a look at it I may be biased because I've been using this for a very long time, many, many hours, much time sunken into this, but if worst comes to worst, I say get this controller, try it out. It's cheap at the moment, I think it's 50, 50 USD maybe, or even less depending on where you live. An official Sony product comes Xbox One version as well, and you can swap it to PS4, PS3, or PC. And you can take it to the tournament, it's legal, it's Sony official, it's Tory. Where can you go wrong with this controller? This controller is so very good.
compared to, compared to this fucking this controller. Keep keep it for the PS4. That's all you want to use this controller for. Not worth. Especially when you're something like this. And what's better about this? Has no thumbsticks as well. Some people might like thumbsticks to bind them. It's up to you. But I reckon it comes with plenty of buttons to bind my stuff to. Like for example, if I wanted to grab someone, I would throw out like a random jab, and then I would hold a button. Hold the button, as you can see. Just near. Okay, as you can see, I'm holding the button now. Then all I have to do is press triangle or of two, and that way I buffer the command. Very simple, very easy, and try an entire thing so close together as well. So very close, and then these buttons on the side are also made out of different material, so you can easily identify that they're different, and that way you won't accidentally just press that thinking it's a different button, you know, I haven't bound it, but that way you won't think it's a different button. But me, when I first got the controller, I my thumb was so used to an Xbox controller's layout, so I was press, I was moving my hand further away than I should have to press the button, but it took me only a day, and then I got used to the layout of the controller, and then ever since then, Ever since then, it's just been walking a park, really. Just like that. Look at, all those, look at all those inputs, and I barely did anything. And then, and this is just for a fighting game. This is just a fighting game at the moment. This, you can use it for absolutely anything else as well. It works like a normal pad. Hell, you like NES games, you like Game Boy games, you like any game that doesn't have a D-pad, not a D-pad, an analog stick, boom, got this right here, very, yeah, it's so very light, hell, you could probably travel with this as well, like, hey, you got a laptop in your bag, you want to play your laptop on a train or something, oh, I don't want to use a keyboard, boom, this, extremely light, easy travel, like, it's smaller than my hand, like, it's smaller than my hand, I have small hands, my hands small, but, <laughs> I hope that this cleared more things up though, because in the other video, I, I pre-recorded pre shit. Doing, doing it live like this, hey, we in it. So this is why I, I wanted to retouch up on this because I didn't expect the other video to get traction at all. So I wanted to spice things up, address everything else, do do live gameplay as well. So that way you can understand, see, see me actually playing using the controller compared to this piece ball. This. I, I say get it, if you don't like it, take it back, fund it. For me, I got I was able to get it from a local store, it sold it. But for me, it was 100 bucks, Australian, everything's fucking dearer here. Fuck me, right? But, if, you're, if you buy it online, anything like that, 50 bucks max, you'd spend. And then if you don't like the controller, it's only 50 bucks, you can use it for something else. It works on everything, hell. Emulate something if you really want to. Or well, hell, even just use it. Take your rage out on. Hey, you run up black, you want to take your control? Pass him this if you don't like it. <laughs> and then it's gone. Out, out of your hands. For good. But. I, I say try it. Even with the new controller coming out, try this. It's good. Simple. It's clean. I, I've had no issues with it at all. And I've had two. I've had two of these because I got the Xbox One version as well. Which I like, ended up giving to a friend. I was like, I should get two just in case because after. I'm using it for ages, I'm gonna need another one. I might as well get the Xbox One, which just in case I ever play Tech on or fighting game on Xbox. But I was like, hey, a year later, 800 hours, still fucking working. Gave it to a friend, just like that. I didn't need it. It's just so good. <laughs> Legit, it just kept working, working, working. That's all it does. It just works. It works very simple. Or if you're electric, like I'm not even trying. Like, like, or if you're electric again. Again, like doing this command, I know I failed it up, failed it a bit just then, but it's child's play almost. Like, like I would say this is the hitbox of controllers, but I don't even want to consider this a controller just because how different it is, how different it feels, how the actual d-pad slides with your hand, it moves, the d-pad itself moves, 
from its spawn, it moves left to right, and it changes depending how you move the controller itself. It's crazy. Compared to a stiff D-pad that sits there, that you have to readjust your hand every time this, you slide. All you do is you slide it back and forth. That's all you do. Your thumb never leaves it. You never have to panic. Your thumb's always there. Hey, so I'm going for a low, you just slide your thumb down. That's all you have to do. The only time you have to let go, is if, like for example, the only time you have to let go of the D-pad, you want to rise, let go for one second, boom. That's it. That's all you have to do, and then, oh, even that is super, super clean. Do. Super simple, super easy, super cheap as well. Like hell, you go out and get Xbox controller, PS4 controller. Hey, depending on where you live, like for me, if I want that, it's like 80 bucks. Even though I spent 100 for this. <laughs> well, that's AUD. Uh, if you like a PS4 controller, that's fine. But I do encourage you to also try this because I swap. From a PS4 and Xbox controller to this, and that's all I've used. Like, I have arcade sticks out the fucking wazoo. I have arcade sticks. I love arcade sticks. I can't use them as effectively as this controller. But I, I play an arcade stick. I'm like, why the fuck am I even using this? It's so much effort. It's difficult. It's fun, but this is also fun and so much easier. So much less stress. Like, it really is a great fucking controller, dude. I. And if you don't like it, don't like my opinion, fuck well, it, dude. <laughs> this, this, it's a very good investment. I, I say go for it. And that's all I gotta say for this controller. It's not not sponsored by Hori, by the way. I wish, but for, for any fighting game, it's worth definitely. Especially, I, I would say if you're if more in a Street Fighter, something that uses um, extra buttons, I'd say go this controller. That way, you won't have to rely on shoulder buttons at all. And that way it's just right there next to your triangle, next to your circle, or next to your Y and B. It's easy. Very, very easy and simple. Uh, I say fucking go for it. Go for it, try it. I, 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 <laughs> there's, there's no way you can go wrong with this controller. Like, it's that good. I gotta say, honestly. Until the day it breaks on me, then, then I'll make an update. <laughs> but, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys get a controller. If you have any questions, hey, leave them down below and I'll answer them. But, take care guys.